Hi, in this video we will learn how to create a simple folder watcher program in .NET Core by using the worker service template and also we will see about the file system events and event handler and finally we will see about the demo organizing the files um, based on the file extensions whatever we have inside the folder watcher. Now let me open my console terminal to create a worker project. I'll be creating my directory called watcher slash my watcher. So inside my watcher directory I'm going to create a new worker template by using the command dot net core new of worker hyphen uh, project name as a my watcher. And after creating the worker template, let me go inside my Visual Studio Code editor. You can see two different files here. So one is program, which is the entry point, program.cs. Another one is worker, where we're going to write the folder watcher program. So I'm going to use the file system watcher which is going to use from the library called system.io and I'm going to create an object for that as a watcher is equal to new file system watcher and I'm going to mention the path where I'm going to monitor the file actions file events so I'll be copying the uh, directory path and including here So after mentioning the path, I need to add some notify filter like uh, notify filters dot attributes the created creation time, a last texas file name and um, size etc. You can do use any uh, notify filters. And after that, um, I'm going to use the filters actual filters to more monitor like um, notif watcher dot filter dot star dot star which means includes all the files irrespective whatever extension file we have inside the watcher folder and then we will be registering the event handler so event handler are like a uh, events are like change event create event delete and rename for that watcher dot change equal to new file system event handler on change and let's implement this uh, on change event handler now below this method a public void on change object of source file system event args let's console this event console dot write line of the file name e dot name is created or is changed by using e dot change type and also we can create other events like uh, watcher dot created from the file system event handler we'll use the same on change method and also another event called watcher.delete for that also we'll be using the same uh, method and the fourth event is rename for the rename we need to have use a different event handler called rename event handler so um, for that I'm going to use a different method so on rename Let's implement that method below the on change. Public void on rename object source comma rename even args. So I'm going to observe the event now um, from what name to it got changed from the old name to new name for that e dot old name 
is changed to the new name now um, let's execute this so before executing we will in need to monitor this events whatever the events are registered so let's watch write that watcher dot enable raising events equal to true which will monitor the uh, start monitoring the events and also I want to I want to monitor only the parent directory not any subdirectories for that I'm just removing the I mean including the sub let's run this program like dot nut run dot now it's going to be monitoring the my watcher directory so we can see uh, we can create some new files change some file existing files you can see I'm just creating new text document you can see that it has been created now and changing it as the sample it has got changed and also I'm going to edit something inside the file see you can see it has got changed and also I'm just going to copy paste the file in the same directory so you can see the both commands created and changes there and also I'm doing some other update and delete also it is works well now this is a basic event handlers like for event handle file use system event handlers for different events like as we see you know created deleted now let's write some other function other additional um, uh, conditions to organize the file for that I'm just going to use the if block for to check the file is created in the watcher directory so inside this particular if block I'm going to get extract some uh, file data like getting the file full path and getting the extension from the full path by using the path dot get extension of e dot full path dot to string which I'm going to do comparison with the different extensions like for this in this example we're going to use a text as a one directory to organize the file and also we will be having uh, other two directory called uh, Excel for that I'm just giving the another if else if block which is going to do with a comparison with the dot xls x and similar way and also I'm going to use the another uh, block for uh, the JSON file and so we'll be declaring the uh, uh, target path variable to hold the different uh, um, path directory so for example like a target path equal to where I just want to copy from my organizing folder structure so let's say I'm just putting a text file into text directory and uh, similar way I'm just putting the Excel files into the Excel directory as Excel and the next one is finally I'm just going to use the JSON for a JSON files now let's copy the file to a corresponding output directory from the input location for that I'm just using the file dot copy uh, from the watcher directory to a target directory where we need to copy the files so I'm just going to copy use the copy command like file dot copy of the current full path to or in the target path and before that I'm going to mention the path target path equal to combine the uh, path and the file name now so for that I'm using the path dot combine of a target path comma and the uh, 
actual file name from the watcher directory by using the path dot get file name of from the full path so this will copy this file into into this um, organizing folder like where you want to copy the excel and uh, uh, other files and before removing the um, file from the watcher directory we have to make sure that uh, the file is already present in the existing location existing uh, target path like so in this case i'm going to do a file dot if exist so i'm going to make it delete the watcher directory file by using the file dot delete of full path there so let me mention as a uh, override option also while doing a file copy as a true now Unsuccessfully, we are copying those uh, file to an organizing folder. Let's write the console like final statement as um, the files are copied successfully or files are moved successfully to the organized folder. Files moved successfully to organizer folder. Now uh, let's save this program and uh, come back to the console we'll execute the program now so let me open my all the folders which I already created so which is like uh, example files and um, I have an uh, files like uh, for creating so from watcher if I drag the files you can see all the files are created to the organizer folder so I'm moving all the file structure like a JSON text file Excel file everything now we let come back to the uh, now let's come back to the organizer folder where you can see the files are uh, organized as we expected like a uh, Excel JSON and text file I hope you like this video. Thank you for watching.